All right, this is Bernie Sanders earlier today on his Medicare for All plan. And, you know, I said earlier that I want, they need to sharpen this message up. Everything Ben said is a thousand percent right. The morality is there, the arguments are there, but they're going to need to tighten up some of these angles. So let's just play this. You know, there is a influential union, the Culinary Workers Union, that last night issued some literature to their members warning them that your Medicare for All plan would, as I read it here, end culinary health care. No, well, that's not accurate. We'll be talking to the union. It's a great union, and we're going to have some conversations with it. Uh, what Medicare for All does will provide comprehensive health care to every man, woman, and child. We will expand Medicare to include dental care, eyeglasses, hearing aids, and home health care. And every worker in America will pay substantially less for health care than he or she is paying right now. And the, tra the, the transition is probably part of the issue that they're concerned about, obviously. Well, it's a four-year tra transition. We start off in year one, going from 65 years of age to eligibility, down to 55, then down to 45, down to 35. But at the end of the day, Ed, we have got to ask ourselves why it is that we're spending twice as much per person on health care as the people of any other country, and yet 87 million of us are uninsured or underinsured, while the insurance companies and the drug companies make tens of billions in profit. Okay, so this is all good. It's all accurate. It's correct. They need to zero in on the fact that what Nina Turner did earlier, and frankly, they should be running ads scaring the shit out of people. Your health care is not secure as long as there's a private health care system, period, full stop. It doesn't matter what your union negotiated. That could get fucked over. You want to go on strike? You want to try to extract a concession? They can take it away from you in a heartbeat. And you might ask yourself, if your union leadership is fighting against the only serious pro-union, pro-labor candidate in the race with the only record of relentless pro-union advocacy for decades, what is a misalignment between what they want and you want? And the campaign needs to get on this 100 percent. Now, I'm also seeing that the Culinary Workers Union leadership, not the rank and file, which is, of course, incredibly important. I have no doubt that a lot of those folks will come out uh, for um, for Sanders. This is a uh, really interesting. So basically, um, the I what is this? The IBEW, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. OK, so this is another union, but I think this is an analogous dynamic. The IBW, Joe Biden, this is the first tweet. Joe Biden picks up the endorsement from the I, IBEW, which has over 775,000 and, uh, and members. Joe has a long record of standing up for union members, and we believe it's the best interest of IBEW members to elect him our next president, uh, as said the uh, president of the, uh, uh, of the IBEW. Now, we all know the endless amount of ways in which Joe Biden has not only been, I mean, he's Joe Biden has a decades long fundamentally anti-worker platform from uh, disastrous trade bills to the bankruptcy bill. Then this is a quote tweet from an actual member. IBEW member here, a sizable amount and likely majority of leaders on local levels are furious about this. You're about to see a lot of locals all over the country bank break ranks and endorse Bernie Sanders. In the culinary workers, I would expect a similar dynamic. Of course, the campaign needs to do their work of running on that message to counteract the fear mongering and the propaganda against Medicare for all, which whether they're union leaders or Pete Buttigieg or anyone else is only just uh, ending, uh, you know, hurting people and doing the dirty work of the insurance and pharma lobby. Let's be very real about that. And Wendell Potter, who will be on the show soon, has a great thread on that specifically. The other part here is that this is another line in the disingenuous fight about Bernie bros and unity and and civility. And let's actually uh, please watch the first clip of this. Maybe if we clip these later, we'll make this a separate clip. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.